Click the phishing link. Here's what happens and what to do now. Did you click a suspicious link from an email or text? It's pretty common to accidentally tap a link with around 40% of emails globally being spam and the average American receiving 14 unsolicited SMS texts per month. Here's what usually happens when you open a phishing link. After clicking a phishing link, the sender knows you are a valid target. The attacker receives some basic data like approximate location, device statistics, and information voluntarily provided. A phishing link may download malware. Users should take precautionary measures. Here are some of the most frequently asked questions about phishing links. We've also listed and defined the lesser known types of phishing. Some of these have funny yet threatening names. How do I know if I've clicked a phishing link? If you've clicked a phishing link, it's critical to stop interacting with the page and delete any downloaded files. Search for the intended target site using a search engine. Compare the legitimate web address and content to the phishing site. Watch for suspicious account activity, calls, or texts. Follow on signs of phishing include suspicious emails, social media posts with shortened links, copycat URLs, web pages requiring account login details, emails with misspellings and unconventional sentences. If the attackers succeed in collecting data, phishing scam victims might receive manipulative calls or text messages urging them to take further actions. Once a target has responded to a first phishing attempt, there is a higher likelihood that they will continue to fall prey to future prompts. Can my smartphone be hacked by clicking on a phishing link? A smartphone can be hacked by clicking a link found in email, text messages, or software. Tapping or opening a phishing link can expose users to automatically downloaded malware. Sometimes the malicious link may redirect a user to a malicious website or application controlled by hackers designed to collect user information or infect a mobile phone. A cyber criminal doesn't need to get a hold of your smartphone to infect it with malware. If your phone is connected to the internet, hackers can infiltrate your device through phishing links. Sometimes the messages can seemingly come from legitimate companies or reputable organizations as a notice about their services or apps. Clicking or tapping on these phishing links can open a pathway into your smartphone. Effects of phishing links on smartphones. Phishing links may exploit smartphones with various malware. The attack surface on smartphones is typically smaller. Purpose-built apps can compromise your mobile phone, causing apps to malfunction, slow your device, install unnecessary apps, drain your phone battery, and consume your data plan faster. What if I've clicked a phishing link on my iPhone? Investigate where the link redirected the iPhone. Identify the target accounts and proactively change their passwords. Avoid disclosing personally identifiable information on any app or service, including your iCloud account. Review your device for unrecognized apps, files, texts, or emails iPhones are a bit more protected than Android phones in their susceptibility to malware via phishing links. Clicking a phishing link on an iPhone doesn't immediately expose your sensitive information unless you open a website or an app. That's why it's critical to stop interaction or activity if you've made a mistake. If your phone is not jailbroken, you're generally safe from malicious apps. Apple has inbuilt solid security measures to prevent such incidents. What if I've clicked on a phishing link on my Android phone? Review where the phishing link redirected your Android phone, noting the site address or any files downloaded. Do not interact with suspect web pages. Delete any downloaded files. Scan the device for malware using a trusted app. Proactively change the passwords on any target account. Android phones are a bit more susceptible to attacks due to the open nature of the mobile operating system. Since it is possible to sideload new apps or apps from non-official sources, Android users that have riskier usage habits 
have the potential to damage their device or have information stolen from phishing attacks. It's crucial to stop and carefully review a link or requested actions when there's a sense of urgency in the message. Look out for red flags such as poor grammar, sense of urgency, request for personal information, and offers that look too good to be true. What are the types of phishing? The types of phishing attacks grow as cyber criminals find new social engineering techniques, communication channels, and types of targets to attack. Email phishing. Phishing emails are spam or fraudulent emails containing a malicious website phishing URL or attachments with embedded URLs. This is the most common communication channel due to the low cost of launching a campaign. However, spam filters are evolving to include AI and machine learning, allowing better identification and quarantining of suspicious emails. Vishing. Vishing is a call-based phishing attack that entices a target to expose confidential information to cyber criminals via a phone call. Phishing is usually more convincing, but requires a highly researched target. It's one of the least used with only 1% of the phishing attacks attributed to phishing. Smishing. Smishing is an SMS phishing campaign aimed at stealing personal information or corporate confidential data from targets. Smishing victims usually receive deceptive text messages urging them to act urgently, sometimes from spoofed phone numbers. Spear phishing. This targeted attack on victims through emails or text contain plausibly accurate information on or around the target to manipulate the victim into action. The mark is usually driven more effectively due to the increased legitimacy of the message. Whaling. Whaling is spear phishing, a high value target usually carried out against important personnel of a target company. The attackers may impersonate the top executive to lure company accountants or IT professionals into obeying specific instructions. Whaling, or CEO fraud, is usually aimed at stealing sensitive information, accessing a corporate network, or defrauding the company. Ready for a pop quiz? I received the smishing text found in the middle of this article. Study the message carefully. Can you identify the five suspicious parts that should set off alarms?